Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Man, We're Too Old for This, here on the Nerd Troll Network. I'm your host, the experience that some call Jason, and with me today is... The token millennial, Tarky. The Godfather, CDL113, the droid you're looking for. And today we are going to talk about the firing of Gina Carano. Well, firing or, you know, she doesn't work here and we don't plan to rehire her. However they, however they want to phrase it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the way I saw it phrased was, uh, well, she finished out her season and we're just not hiring her back for a third one. So, you know, maybe not technically firing, but effectively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's, that's kind of being booted because uh, her, uh, her uh, agent firm let her go too. Yeah, the oh. exact quote from Disney is Gina Carrero is no is not currently employed by Lucas Films and there is no plans for her to be in the future. Uh so yeah, she she ain't coming back. Uh let's see what was the name of the What well, which firm was it that she was with? Uh United Talent Agency. Yeah, dropped her as a client. You know, this is a result of how many fucking months of fired Gina Carano hashtagging on Twitter? Yeah. Well, she was not helping herself. You know, it's like somebody was trying to set her house on fire and she wants to walk out and just keep throwing gasoline. The trick of the Twitter mob is, though, once they kind of locked on you, there ain't shit you could do because if you go, well, I'm sorry, your apology is never good enough. And usually just make shit worse. Uh, I guess the only thing maybe she could have done was that fuck it and canceled her Twitter account. But that's... But even then, eh, anytime my character did any damn thing, that shit was going to trend. So, there was, yeah, there, but, was, there was truthfully no way out of that shit. Yeah, but jumping on there... Yeah, but when that's been going on, when you jump on there and start you know comparing your plot to you know, Holocaust Jews... Uh, that's you're just throwing gasoline on there then. I read her, I read her tweet and what? Yeah, she was doing the typical "I'm a victim" thing. But let's be honest, if that was the case, none of Hollywood would have a job because that damn thing is loaded with "I'm a victim." Yeah, this is true. I'm a victim. I'm a victim. I did this. I'm a victim. You know, and especially coming from Lucasfilm. Come on, come on. Kelly Marie Tran, who left Twitter because, hell, she just wanted to leave the shit. See, see, she was run off of Twitter. Daisy Ridley left Twitter because she didn't like people knowing where she was. Look, these racist fans have run Daisy Ridley off of Twitter. Yeah, it, to, to scream, well, she did that. Yeah, it was the typical Hollywood, vic I'm the biggest victim, let me compare myself to some shit. The shit that she described was literally demonization which is how demonization works. The fact that she tried to apply it to herself, eh, like I said, it's the typical, see, I know, I know what it's like. And when you don't. But it's hardly the worst fucking thing I've seen on there. It's hardly the worst fucking thing I've seen from somebody from Disney. No, nah, that's fair. Well, let's Liam go, let's, let's go, let's quickly go over what it was, she, what, what she has said on Twitter. Uh, she, re she retweeted somebody's somebody's post, basically saying that in Nazi Germany the Jews were not beaten by Nazi soldiers, by their neighbors and their neighbors' children and that kind of stuff because the government basically made people hate them. It was it was a demonization riff, which if anybody that looks up demonization, that's literally what they did. People that know me that that may see my Facebook thing, I'm always talking about in concerns of black people, our image, because demonization always comes before extermination because people's natural inclination, if you're sane, is not to murder other people. So if you want to get rid of a group of people, first thing you have to do is make them less than human. You have to make something wrong with them first. So they're not killing a person. Mm -hmm. They're killing a whatever fill-in-the-blank that is. Yeah. 
and, yeah, like and government the first spoke. three sentences of that thing that she typed that she redid was a, just a statement of how like Jews were beating the streets, not by Nazis, and all that. And then at the very end, it was how is that any different from hating someone for their political views? Which is like that. That's where the comparison comes in. Yeah, the and the first little bit of it is history is just a statement of what happened, and then then at the very end slaps on. How is that any different than what's going on with me? That's her trying to apply it to herself. Yeah. And say it again, coming from somebody from Lucasfilm, that's that's hypocritical as shit because they stay the only person that caught hell that did not go I'm some kind of victim was John Boyega, who literally caught hell. But he never came out and went, Hey, I'm catching hell. He didn't run off of Twitter. He he used what my grandmother used to say to use to people, he used his mouth back. You know, get over it. It's a get over it. There's worse on Twitter. I can find you worse on Twitter. There's worse in Star Wars. You still, you had Liam Neeson voice over in, in Rise of Skywalker. He's going to cameo in Obi-Wan, in the Obi-Wan show. And he admitted to hunting black people to beat the shit out of with a time. I'm sorry. That's worse than a billion tweets. Yeah. There's no cancel Liam. So you can hunt a Negro, and that's cool. But you make, you make some, you, well, I put it like this. It goes along with the culture. The culture will rather punish people for saying shit than doing shit. Yeah. You say something, they cancel you. You do some shit, and they give you a GoFundMe and pay your ass. Now, which yep. would which yeah, would yeah, seem? Looking, the, we should probably the, jump back and go over the other stuff she has said up to this point. She's conservative. She says a whole bunch of stupid ass Trump shit. If you if and that that's the thing. If you go, was, did she tweet a bunch of stupid ass Trumper shit? She tweets a shitload of stupid ass Trumper shit. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I, I was. Yeah, she she posted about voter fraud. Yep. Trumper shit. Yep. She uh, talked about people wearing double masks. Talked about transgenders. She tweets Trumper shit. Yeah. So I do appreciate this one down here about the, the beat boop bop in her Twitter bio because Pedro Pascal helped me understand why people are putting him in their bios. And it's like Pedro Pascal stepped in and said, hey, hey, sweetie, please, please stop saying dumb shit for 10 minutes. Like he stepped in and tried to like keep her from from doing too much yeah and she's like yeah he saw um, that she was about to torpedo her career yeah and he but was the like trick, the trick is when she did that beat boot bop they've been after her ever fucking since yeah i'm telling you she literally could have said nothing from now on they'd still be going fire gina carano yeah yeah i don't yeah, know except get, if she if, a, if she had calmed down go ahead David. well it's a fact of I, I didn't hear shit about the beat boot bop I didn't hear shit about anything up until this point where enough has piled on that Lucasfilm itself had to step up and say, okay, yeah, we're not hiring her back. Yeah, the trick is, though, fire Gina Carano, because you didn't hear it. Yes, fire Gina Carano has been a thing for months. And any time her character popped up in an episode of The Mandalorian, the shit would start to trend all over again. And it's been from that one something. It, it's well, not new. It, it's, except it's it hasn't problem. been just from that one something. It's she kept yeah, she's, throwing. She's been fuel on the fire. Stuff. I don't think anything she's posted necessarily should have resulted in her being fired. Let me, let me be clear there. My lack of sympathy for her is you know they're gunning for you and you keep giving them more ammunition. Uh, One of those kind of things where yeah, my my only thing in that is. Yeah, there's worse there. Yeah. Don't That's fine. Don't act, yeah. That doesn't matter from, from, from where I'm coming from. She knows they're gunning for her. Don't put a target don't put don't keep putting targets on you. You know, yeah. It it, Again, it had been months about. they weren't going to fire her over beat bop boop. But they got to just keep she got to just keep piling it on. 
I have no sympathy for her because from a st strategic point of view, she just kept she just kept going. She was like Trump. She just couldn't stay off Twitter. Yeah, that I absolutely agree with. She couldn't stay off Twitter. Now, she also posted something about Jeff Epstein killing himself, and I have to agree with her on that one. Yeah. Yeah, but the thing but, is, here here's my thing about that. If I prefer my soulless companies to be soulless companies. If Disney goes, we don't do politics because we want everybody's money, and then you do that and you catch hell, hey, you broke the rules. The rules were clearly stated. Don't worry about it. Mark Hamill talks shit all the time. All the time. The thing is, the punishment is going whether you agree with what they said or not, not that she said it. The thing is, if you don't like politics and the shit, take all the shit off there. As a corporation, you could easily do that. If you work for Disney, we don't do that shit because we want everybody's money. Keep that shit to yourself. And mm -hmm. if you violate our policy, we find you. Yeah, you violate find, the second time, we fire, we fire you. you. You know, there you know, there's consequences to action. Yes, everyone has the right of free speech. That's guaranteed in our in our, our laws. But yeah, but that only protects you from the government. Yeah. Consequence like I can look at Todd and go, You're ugly. Todd can either laugh at me or tell me I'm ugly back. If I tell him, you know, something racially, yeah. I've wrote a check that I'm gonna have to pay the consequences of is he gonna laugh at me or is he gonna punch me and <laughs> you that's know the answer to that yeah i know the answer to that he, he punched me but she makes these comments she has all the right in the world to make these comments or, or post her comments she's just now reaping the the result of said comments now were some of them maybe right like the epstein didn't kill himself yeah i agree with her on that but some of the other stuff you got to be careful when you start comparing things to Nazi Germany and the plight of the uh, Jews during World War II. Because if you're not Jewish, yeah, you better stay off that, that you know, bandwagon because somebody will school you on it in a heartbeat. And I've seen that in real life because I had a teacher who was the grandchild of a, of a Holocaust survivor. And she was real quick to, you know, keep people staying in their lane so some of those comments she should have just kept to herself or her very very close friends and not post them publicly because yeah that will come back to bite you and anybody in our culture has seen, has seen it come back and bite so many people like yes. i said my lack of sympathy solely comes from the fact that strategically she just wasn't thinking well i just find it frustrating she she may have gotten a little bit of that. I'm a I'm a, a actor actress itis that you know I'm untouchable, and they're not. You, they forget, you know, there are consequences to your actions. Mm -hmm. She's paying them now. Now whether she's guilty in a court of law or guilty in the court of public opinion, she's been found guilty somewhere. And Disney's like, well, we're gonna. Anybody want to float the theory that this is Kathleen Kennedy basically going, this is a good way for me to take a pop shot at the show because my High Republic ain't selling worth that shit? That, that's a good possibility. Could too. be, right. but, right. but again, that, for me, that still comes down to, yeah, well, she she made herself a target, you know, so. Yeah, yeah. It, it's not like she did herself any favors. Now, if you want and to discuss, also, you know, should this be going on? No, it probably shouldn't. Also, you're 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 insinuating that Kathleen Kennedy can like form a game plan to sabotage something <laughs> on purpose. She sabotaged her own career, so but not on purpose. No, she I'm pretty she, sure she, she did everything, all of that on purpose. Yeah, but she thought it was going to go so differently. She thought she was going to win in the end. Uh, well, I, listen, I kinda... that's that, that's kind of the thing. That's, like I said, it's you know, it. I find it, you know fairly ironic that the week that the High Republic comes out like debuts at like number 65 on Amazon and all of a sudden eh, where's the Carano honestly was the one fucking weakness that you had. She didn't do herself no favors but that was the one weak link in that show mm. that I could go ha! It's a popular character I can fuck it up. Yay! Click. Now go buy the High Republic. Though I kind of like Tarky's theory of uh, do you really think she's competent, competent enough to pull that off? 
Well, I don't think she's competent enough to build. I know she's competent enough to fuck shit up. Yeah. She is she is a world class fucker up. Let's yeah, be this, honest. This just looks years like a ago, if you, say, you think somebody could have fucked up Star Wars? No. <laughs> I'll show you. Hold, hold my beer. This right, is one where I suspect that, that she was I, trying and trying and trying. And then Gina, you know, held some fruit down nice and low for her. So she was finally able to get the low hanging fruit. Yeah, I feel like this is just a lucky coincidence. If anything. You know, she was whispering in Pablo Hidalgo. I mean, uh, in uh, Pedro Pascal's ear every night. You're sick of that helmet. You're sick of that helmet. You're sick of that helmet. Damn it, I can't get this helmet. Kennedy somewhere going, <laughs> Yeah, except I don't. Except everything I've read, yeah, the the helmet thing was blown out of proportion. It wasn't really something he was going on about. Yeah, that the story group is the House of Horrors. You know, it's what two months ago they tell you had Pablo Hidalgo basically mock a cancer survivor. Yeah, so it ain't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's still employed. Yeah, I mean, I'm not arguing with you about about the fairness of how they're applying stuff. Like I said, I don't yeah, feel sorry for her. Oh, as well, as I'm getting fired, hell, I ain't getting a cut of a check. I don't give a shit if she's fired or not. Yeah, well, <laughs> character's been on there like all like the character. Yeah, but she's been on there a total of what? Five times out of two seasons? Six yeah. times out of two seasons? So it ain't like it's something that's going to be, man, I ain't, you know. Well, you know, you ain't no super miss I ass, but by that same token, my only thing is. Don't get on your moral high horse <laughs> when you got when you got motherfuckers that was hunting Negroes. I don't give a fuck. You hired somebody that was hunting black folks, and he admitted it out of his own damn mouth. Yep, in an interview, you can pull it up on YouTube. And pretty much volunteered the information. Right? It wasn't even like somebody you know tricked him into saying what he was secretly really no, thinking. You know, no, he was just saying the shit. And hell, that broke my heart because Liam Neeson was one of my favorite actors. Hell, I loved Qui Gon Jinn. Hell, I'm like Liam Neeson. Hell, going all the way back to Excalibur. Yep. But yeah, that, I mean, hell, nobody asked him that. Hell, he was doing a movie and it was, had a revenge riff, and he just decided to go. Yeah, a friend of mine accused a black person of raping him, so I took a tire and went out hunting any black person I could find. Well, damn. Yep. All I'm saying is, that's got to be the bar. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's the fucking bar. I went out hunting. Hunting what, people? That's the bar. <laughs> so you either get rid of him and lower the bar, or that stays the bar if you keep him employed. Well, the, the trick is, if you lower the bar, what's the lower the bar? I laugh at people survive cancer. <laughs> that's still fucked up. Yeah, yeah, I... I agree with you. Yeah, it's... While I agree with Luke, the Lucasfilm decision of just, hey, we just ain't gonna rehire her for ongoing seasons, there's a whole lot of other problems more pressing than this that Lucasfilms is just turning a blind eye to. Yeah, yeah. I completely agree with that. Oh, I don't think anybody here is but, gonna argue but, that it's not... Uh, yeah. that they're not fair, you know, kind of across the board. They're very selective of what they decide to get offended about. Yeah, but specifically in the Carano case, it's just like, I okay, I feel no pity for her. She does, she vaguely deserves it. Just for the in the essence of just guy. like she just keeps saying dumb crap after being shown that the fans said, "Hey, we want you fired for saying dumb crap," and she just went, "Well, I'll just keep saying it then." Well, it's like, all right, you, and even then you go, "Well, the fans keep saying it." Yeah, like the same fans that you call pieces of shit. So she probably figured she was safe. Ha, these people don't listen to the fucking fans at all. Except she's on the one show made by people that do. Yeah. And ain't the ones that fired. Well, you know, Disney has already said in one of their statements that, you know, they ha didn't have plans to use her, use her character immediately and they'll either recast it, recast the character or just write the character out of the stuff completely mm -hmm. because there were no dangling, you know, yeah. plot threads with yeah. her in it. So, she was a reoccurring she, character that undoubtedly would have shown back up eventually, but but for all intents and purposes, like a character arc was done. 
they're gonna have to come up with something else for. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but uh, going from the standpoint of let's let's say this was a Carol Kennedy plot or Carolyn Kennedy, Kathleen Kennedy, Kathleen Kennedy. Kathleen. Why do I always want to call her Carolyn? Oh, because you hate because I don't know. No, well, Carolyn Kennedy some... was a real person. That's why. That's probably that, that is some... probably it. Do you have a past trauma you need to work out? <laughs> I don't think so. Maybe Carolyn sounds more like Karen, and I think of her, Kathleen as a Karen. But if this was if this was her taking a swap at the show, let's face it, it's it's not a swap that's going to do much. Hey man, you go for what you can. Yeah, well, it's like I said earlier, low hanging fruit, I guess. But singing lightsabers are going into the toilet. What do you want? Oh, that would probably have happened with or without the Mandalorian. Let's be honest. In the in the High Republic, yeah, the lightsabers are alive, and some of them can sing and all kinds of shit. Yeah, it's all kinds of fun. It's Star Wars written by people that don't know shit about Star Wars. Okay. <clears throat> people last night when they were talking about, well, why would Kathleen attack the one thing that's making money? Have you not been paying attention to this movie? <laughs> shit. Yeah, I don't think they have been. Jealousy's a thing. And all the rumors say that, you know, her time's about up anyway. Mm-hmm. And it can't be over quick enough. Yeah, I don't disagree there. But yeah, that's that's kind of a Disney thing. Though. Disney has floating float morality. Yeah. With but fans. if you're working for Disney, you have to know that. So, you know, it's 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 one of those you get you know you're getting into a game that yeah the rules aren't fair, but you kind of know going in they're not going to be. So you got to play it smart, and she just didn't. And purples aren't known for being smart. Like I said. That's true. My argument has never been that she say dumb shit almost constantly. <laughs> the trick is it's it's one of them pot calling the kettle black things. It's yeah, okay. Don't get my thing is the soulless corporation. I don't like soulless corporations when they try to act like when they try to people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't people well. You're not a people. Just don't pretend. Legally, there are people. Yeah, legally, there are people now. But, yeah, that's, you know, they don't, pe- none of them people well. Right. Like some kind of alien with a people suit. Like Pennywise. They all like Pennywise. They tried to be a clown. They came close to being a clown, but something about that damn clown just wasn't right. Probably the drool. But they do really like children. And they need to do something about that eye. <laughs> Look at me, I'm humaning. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. Here's a dictionary and a thesaurus. That's not what you think it means. Well, if this is somebody taking a swap at the Mandalorian, where do you think they would try to hit it next? See, I think the actual swipe at the Mandalorian is at least in the kind of right wingish parts of the fandom, which tends to be, you know, the fandom that can't stand the sequel trilogy and shit. Carano was a big, so that's, so if you can get them to go, well, fuck this show, then you just won. Because yeah. like I said, you have to take, when it comes to Kennedy, you have to take monetary concerns out of, she don't give a fuck about money. No, no. Yeah, the fact that Baby Yoda is about the only goddamn thing that sells, <laughs> I don't think it's really glommed on her mind yet. Nope. Heck, uh, well, what was what's the name of that comedian that uh, was in that last couple of episodes? Uh, Bill Burr. Bill Burr. You know, you had that big uproar, if you want to call it that, about some of the people going, well, if he's in the middle of space, he wouldn't have a New Jersey accent. That's somebody you that don't know. No Star you may have period. a whole planet where everybody sounds like that. Planet Joey. You know, uh, you the actress that played Anakin's mother... Uh, was it a Swedish accent she had? I'm trying to remember where she was from. Yeah, I forget. But, you know, in interviews, there was a thing where she was talking about, you know, she expressed to George Lucas that she was a little concerned about her accent, and he was just kind of like, you know, you're just from, you know, the Swedish part of the gas or wherever it was she was from. The best. I I get a damn. You know, look at how many accents you have just on Earth. If you had an entire universe, you got to have every imaginable accent out there somewhere. 
Yeah. George called hell of accents because remember the Nemordians in uh, episode one, they said they all sounded uh, Asian. And so Watto, and Watto had so, the stereotypical kind of, you know, yeah. Jewish merchant accent kind of thing. Yep. The Watto one yep. I picked up on watching it. And then the Gungans had clicks. The, like in Tulsa, they had clicks. So they, he caught hell for that. And then the next time you heard an Immortian talk that wasn't Newt Gunray, uh, wasn't, uh, yeah, Newt Gunray, he sounded like a valley boy. <laughs> fire, oh, batteries, fire, fire. It's like, oh, good God. <laughs> That's not better. Though it shows that the alien species also had multiple accents, so I don't care about it. It's horrible. Now, I did have a buddy at work this morning that we, we were talking about this, and he brought up Bill Burr like, did they, have they, if they're upset about anything she said, have they not listened to this man's stand-up? Yeah. Because <clears throat> he, he literally just caught hell, like, what, two months ago for his Saturday Night Live, where he got, <laughs> we're like, what, cancel this son of a bitch. I have a problem with cancel culture. Just in general, mm -hmm. I have a problem with cancel culture in general. Because like I said, you punish people for saying shit, but you don't punish them for doing shit. Yeah. yeah. But if you, speaking, you know, of a political issue, look at what's going on right now with our, with the you know, former president and his impeachment trial. You've got a whole group putting their hands over their eyes and fingers in their ears going, we don't see nothing, we don't hear nothing, nothing happened, you know, and... That's horrible politics, man. Yeah, that's horrible politics. You got nothing to do with Star Wars. Except when it has something to do with Star Wars. Yeah, <laughs> but I was saying, this subject it kind of <laughs> does, loosely. It's like, if it had nothing to do with Star Wars, then you immediately go to Twitter and look at Mark Hamill's like, yay! See you, Lord Jacks! Yep. But again, that's that's still one that yeah, he's not currently employed by him. But that's still one of those kind of things where you go, you know. Even when you somebody goes, yeah, freaking see his orange ass, you've pissed somebody off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The difference is you didn't have a movement go around it. Yeah, I, I I look at complete disdain at the Twitter mob and their floating morality. Yeah. You know. Well, he said such and such. Well, Last time I checked, you have a talk about or say something back. Say something back. Kevin Sorbo is a right wing piece of shit. Hell, when they were storming the Capitol, he was cheering them on on Twitter. Lucy Lawless got on there, checked his ass. Ta da! Mm -hmm. That's the end of the shit. You know that that kind of shit of, well, I don't like what you say, so you can't have a job. No, you you can work. I don't have to support your shit, but I don't think you should. I don't think you should not have a job because of whatever. You know, Disney looking at this stuff and going, "No, we don't like it." You know, we ain't hired her. Is one thing, but then you know her uh, talent agency dropping her. That's kind of the whole. Well, you're just not allowed to work anymore. Yeah, yeah, and that's and that's and that's kind of the the thing that you see, especially on social media, is. You'll have somebody say something that's admittedly racist as fuck. And the big thing is, let's find out where they work so you can get them fired. Instead of just doing like I do and talk about how their mother has love affairs with the local canine population. <laughs> they said something. I say something. If I see it, I say something back. That's that level. The level isn't, well, you said something racist, so now I get you fired. The punishment don't fit the crime. You just say something back to him. If you say it to him in my face, ain't above knocking the shit out of him. But I ain't trying to get you. I ain't trying to get you canned. One, cause I want to know where the hell you are. <laughs> yeah. Cause it ain't like them people don't go get other jobs, and now you knew where they were, and now I don't know where you are, and that's a fucking problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I like my racists where I can see them. That, that I like knowing where you are. That's. I guess if you have to say that's the one benefit of Trump being in office for four years, everybody that was racist kind of climbed out from under their rock. Was like, here I shit. Bullshit. They were all they were never on no damn rock. 
They were never under a rock. You ain't got a million fucking blurred groups because cause nerd racism was hidden. <laughs> shit. That that's that's that comforting bullshit that the country kind of likes. Oh, see, he he made the place racist and he brought about. No, he, I'm not saying he made it. Yeah, racist, but tricky. But he is, made them feel comfortable about coming out. They ain't never felt uncomfortable because they don't get punished. The whole reason you had January 6th happen was because they were absolutely certain that nothing was going to happen to them. And guess what? Ain't a damn thing happening to them. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I feel like we're diverging heavily yeah. off of Corona. Right, well, I think we've said about what we have to say about the Gina Carano yeah. thing. Uh, anybody have any last something they want to point out before we wrap this sucker up? It was the one fucking female character. Well, you got Ming Na Wen's character still. It was a, I was about to say it was the one female character you had in Star Wars that hell actually had an explanation for being badass. Yeah. Yay! You got you fucked up the one you had. Well, no, you also got uh, what's the chick that's uh, resort was it Dawson? Well, you know, you talking about Bo Katan? Oh, you talking about uh, Ahsoka Tano? Yeah. Sir. Yeah. The trick is, uh, Cardoon was literally the first one that you had in there. Oh, she badass. just walked in. Yeah, yeah. That was a badass, and it was. Like I said, I still think Kenny is behind. It was a slap in the face to Ray because she had an explanation. Hey, how the hell could she go toe to toe with Mando like that? Well, she's a fucking rebel jump trooper and she crazy as hell. Yeah. That works. As opposed to vagina. She touched the lightsaber. She's the greatest Jedi ever. But it wasn't the lightsaber, it was the vagina. All right, let's wrap this up before we go off on another tangent. I don't think we're salvaging this one, Jason. <laughs> Well, we got 30 minutes in, so we can just call it here. And that's what we're going to do. So anyway, we've stated our opinions on uh, Gina Carano. If you agree with us or disagree with us, uh, let us know in the comments below. Uh, unless you listen to this on a podcast. In which case, hit us up at thenerdeternal at gmail.com. You can find us on Facebook. You can find us on Twitter. You can find us on Teespring. Oh, yes. If you go to our site, uh, there is now a shop option in the menu bar. We have a few t-shirts and whatnot. Uh, go check them out. Uh, you know, we could use any support you want to throw our way they make to help cover Valentine's hosting costs presents. and whatnot. What was that, Todd? I said they make great Valentine's Day presents. Especially the little... Uh, Phone cases with the little drawing on. So cute. Yes, the the, the CDL uh, shirts and, and paraphernalia are, are, are indeed cute. I love how you're making this awkward for him. Yeah, I'm, I don't know how to respond. So I'm like, hey. Oh, I meant you're making it awkward for Jason. Eh, I don't know. Anyway. So that, uh, well, that does it for today. Hope y'all are... Uh, Tune in next week. Again, I've been your host, the experienced some called Jason, and with me has been uh, Token Millennial, Tarky, Bob, CDO one one three, the droid you're looking for, and we'll see y'all later. Peace. You be the droid you're looking for, Teespring. The droid you're looking for, Teespring. <laughs>